A2P compliance. Let's talk about it. My name is Will Winter with Agent CRM, and these are the latest updates for A2P compliance. Now, some of you might have thought before, hey, I know about A2P compliance. I got approved. Don't need to waste my time on this video. Stop right there. There are always changes and updates, and part of what we're covering in this video is what are we seeing practically on the marketing landscape for A2P compliance, not just registration, but staying compliant because the A2P police are cracking down. What does all this mean? I'm going to be covering that in this video. So let's just review here. Uh, what are we going to talk about today? A2P compliance, we're going to do an overview. We're going to talk about compliant funnels, and we're going to be talking about SMS or text language as well as some additional settings that are available to those who are agent CRM users. Stay compliant, pony boy. Stay compliant. It is not enough to get just approved. There is a, a whole process we're going to cover about jail. Uh, what happens when you get in trouble? So just some background here. What is A2P for those who are just getting into the marketing game now? Once upon a time, marketing was like the Wild West. You could just get a system like ours, uh, an automated system, a computer-based system, get a number, and overnight you could just blast your texts away to your heart's content. Uh, for those who were in business legitimately, this was wonderful. It was easy for people like us who are in the software game. What a dream. I remember those golden days. However, this also created a great environment for spammers people who did not have good intent. And you are probably, uh, if you're like my wife, you remember, she got so mad at all those texts she'd get out of the blue. Why am I getting these texts? I don't want them. Spam, 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 it's getting out of hand. So those easy days uh, and those kind of chaotic days, to be honest, those are behind us. It is no longer as easy as it used to be as there are new regulations in place. Now, these regulations are specifically called A2P, Application to Person. We're going to cover what that means. If you are not interested in the overview, just skip ahead to the details of what are the observations and next steps, but follow along. There are separate regulations like FCC regulations for marketing that it will not be covered in this video. A2P overview, what is the deal here? Uh, 2023, this was just last July that it started. Carriers rolled out these new efforts to reduce spam rates in the US. Uh, phone carriers banded together. They said, let's put a stop to this. New regulations, new registrations to monitor and if necessary, restrict how businesses communicate through messaging services known as A2P 10 DLC application to person 10 digit long code. It's a fancy way of saying hey, you use a computer system to send a lot of text messages. Uh, 10 digits, that's how many digits your phone number is. Registration is now mandatory. If you are currently a CRM user, you're already used to this, but if you are looking for a CRM, get used to the fact that there are some new hoops to jump through as of last year. If you are not approved, you just can't text. Now, of course, you could use your cell phone to text, but you cannot use automations you cannot use mass marketing, which is really where the edge in business comes through systems like ours that allow you to, to blast and automate texts, but we need to do it right. You must not only register, but follow best practices to avoid suspension of your text messaging privileges. That is what this video is mainly going to be about. Moving on here, A2P suspensions. Some of y'all, you've been bad boys, bad girls. Um, some of you have been unwittingly tripping over. It is so silly. I've got some really ridiculous examples of times where people get in trouble. But the main thing to be aware of, there are two reasons why the campaign registry would suspend you. Now, there are two types of suspensions, so we'll cover all that as well. Uh, one is just a 24-hour jail. Your text gets shut off for a day. But if that continues... You'll get locked out completely, and it is a headache to resolve. Um, so the two rejection causes, why would you get flagged as spam? Why would you get in trouble with A2P? Opt-out rate. 
more than 1% of your audience through a campaign at a given time replies, stop, no, end. There's a bunch of different trigger words that could be a part of this. Uh, but what is essentially happening, you can see on the top right, a real example of one of our users. Opt-out rate was 4.26%. That meant that a good number of people said, I don't want your text messages. That communicates to the campaign registry, huh, Will may be spamming people. We should shut him down temporarily. Hope he learns his lesson. Higher than established rate. I'm going to cover some tips at the end of this video, how to avoid or improve your success with both of these. But number two, you can see I've put one twice, message error rate. What does that mean? You're probably texting a landline. You're probably texting a dud number. You haven't cleared or, or wiped your numbers or verified them. It just, it shows these two types of behaviors are just the best way the campaign registry knows how do I ensure that people aren't spamming? We're going to guess that these numbers, these patterns are, are guilty parties. Um, the rates are honestly pretty low, especially the opt-out rate. And you'll see in a second, let's see if the next slide covers that. Uh, I have an example. Uh, I'll show you that later on. A2P police are cracking down. That is one of the primary reasons we are releasing this video. My team has said, Will, we already do a lot to inform and educate, but we're seeing total suspensions. Early on, A2P started, it was a gradual rollout, but every few months they keep cracking down, raising the bar, raising the standard. What is enforcement look like? What is required to stay compliant? And of course, to get approved in the first place. Um, if you are someone who is fully locked down, this is a total headache. And so I want to scare you a little bit. Uh, this is a new, as of this video, we are currently dealing with these types of lockdowns. It has not happened before. Almost a full year of A2P regulations. But this month alone, we're starting to see a change where complete and total lockdowns are happening, where people are for weeks missing out on texting. Now, we are unable to fast track this. We know what to do, but there are processes and hoops to jump through. And so to avoid this, follow along carefully. I do want to scare you a little bit and put the fear of the campaign registry in you. Uh, so we're going to cover all the best tips and practices. Let's move on. Uh, just to show you an example of how uh, severe this has uh, been. The opt-out rate, more than 1%. If one, more than 1% reply stop, you get locked down. This is a real example here. We get a notification as the agency. One of your accounts is being a bad boy. This is 1.01, .01, just a fraction greater than the allowable rate. Boom, locked down for 24 hours, no texting. So that just is a great example of why we want to make sure we're optimizing our text message campaigns and being compliant we're going to cover that. Let's dive in. Two pieces to getting approval and staying compliant. Uh, we're going to go through each of those steps here. This is a funnel. Imagine your landing page. Imagine your website. The main question is, where do leads opt in? How do leads come to you? And whether it's a website or a form, whether it's something like this, we do have some templates. The main point is, any place, a primary place where a person comes into your system, where you receive that data. You can see first name, last name. Here's the pieces, one, two, three, four, one. Your business name needs to be clearly visible on that website. Two, opt-in checkbox and SMS terms. So looking that right below here, uh, by signing up via text, you agree to receive recurring automated marketing messages, blah, 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 blah. Message frequency varies. Data rates may apply. Now, you might have two pieces here. Uh, part two can either be in one or two. But the main point is someone needs to click a box. It needs to be a box, a checkbox. I want your text messages. Will, I'm giving you permission to text me specifically through SMS. I agree, I want you to text me, check. And also I understand that I might have data charges, 
There might be a change in frequency. That is another key piece. Number two, I often see people missing on their forms or websites. Three and four, uh, privacy policy and terms and conditions. We do have examples in our template for those who are with us. Chat GPT is a great way to generate those pages as well, but you will want to review. What am I actually committing to with policies and terms? So please do read those if you are using them, but we do need to have these all clearly visible. Some of you have some homework to do. You might just have a privacy policy, but now we are seeing them crack down. You need both. So one, two, three, four, those are what are included in a compliant funnel. This is what it looks like. And we do have templates for agent CRM users for uh, easy and fast tracked sub, um, submissions, but you will want to review any of your own websites or funnels to ensure that they follow these templates. That's what a compliant funnel looks like or a website. Let's look about compliant text messages. This is the other big piece. Again, one, two, three, four. This is what a compliant text message looks like, especially the very first text message it must include one lead name. So you are the business. You re reached out to me. You must include that name. Hey, Will Winter, this is Dalinar Colon here. So that's your name. You must include your name as well. You must include the business name. Thanks. Stormlight Insurance Group. And then four opt out language reply stop to unsubscribe. These four pieces are the key pieces. This is what the campaign registry is looking for when you get um, your submission in, but also for continued approval. Now, mainly this needs to be a part of the first text message. Now, it may be beneficial to include some of these types of language uh, in ongoing campaigns, but the main compliance piece, text number one, must, must, must include this. There may be changes to any of what I'm sharing in the future. We may see regulations ramp up but I'm providing for you as of May 2024, the most recent overview of what does compliance actually look like. Moving on, protect your reputation. These are some settings that I wanna share that Agent CRM has inside of its settings portal. Settings, business profile, general. That's where you're gonna find this. One and two, uh, there are three checkboxes. Mark emails as invalid due to hard bounce. That's not A to P, but please do check that because emails can also be suspended. That's another thing altogether. Uh, two, validate phone numbers when you send a text. Three, verify emails when you send to new contact. They are not checked off by default because there is a quarter of a penny cost. We want you to have that choice. Uh, it might be half a penny for the text, but what's happening is we're running a test to actually check the number. Some of you, we talked about the two causes for rejection, high error rate. Some of you are just texting landlines and you're getting locked out as a potential spammer. That is one cause for this silly, silly regulation. There are legitimate causes for this regulation as well. But just to share, this is a very simple way. Just check those boxes to make sure that you're running the test on the numbers you have in your CRM to ensure, are these good numbers to text? Are they dud numbers or are they good for SMS use? Those will protect you against bounce for emails and for texting. Number two, A2P compliant opt-out. This is something that has been so helpful. Uh, you actually have this, the system will automatically recognize you've never texted Joey before. Let's tag the compliant piece on just to keep uh, your account safe. So the system will actually do this for you. There are several keywords, quit, end, stop all, stop. Uh, there are specific lists. You must use a word from this list. You can see we've used quit. You must, must, must use one of the stop opt-out messages. If you change it to um, reply thumbs down to opt-out, if the A2P people catch you, you will get in trouble because you are trying to side skirt their safety measures. Uh, they wanna make sure that they can track and monitor and all of these non-standard opt-out keywords are not compliant. So you must, must, must stick to some of the options 
inside of Agent CRM, you can see how does it work. It will give you a few extra options. Again, it adds to the end here. Uh, so just to cover here some additional tips, how can I avoid A2P rejection, not just temporary suspensions, 24 hours, but the, the long-term lockdowns that are currently a big headache, opt-out rates, <laughs> just get better leads. Uh, now that's easier said than done sometimes, but often uh, aged leads or leads that you've purchased with the FCC changes, this is going away. Uh, these are harder and, and more uh, dangerous to work with potentially, especially with SMS uh, campaigns. But getting a higher quality lead will ensure that people are less likely to opt out when you run a mass SMS campaign. Secondly, just change your campaign messaging. Uh, some people I've helped to reduce their SMS uh, error or opt out rates. I would not want to get your text message. It comes off spammy. It comes off super salesy. So just review your SMS language, maybe show it to your wife or to your husband and say, hey, if this popped up on your text, how would you feel? Um, just get a gauge if you're um, not as aware you want a second opinion, but changing the campaign messaging may be another way to decrease your opt-out rate. Those are two tips here. A uh, bonus tip here is that including a photo of yourself Maybe just take a, a casual selfie and attach it to that first text message that has seen a greater uh, positive response to message campaigns. It's a personal touch. Finally, message error rate. This one's super easy. Just scrub your numbers by going back to those settings that I showed you in one of the previous slides. Uh, last thoughts here, Agent CRM, our team is always monitoring the trends. I've shown you some of the trends that we've seen in this video. But if all of this is over your head and you're thinking, my goodness, I am an agent CRM user and I need help with my funnels to be compliant, or you're thinking, I've tried other CRMs or I don't have a CRM and I am over my head, I'm confused, I need help. We do have a team, consult.agent-crm.com. Bob would be one of the gentlemen you'll talk to where he'll give you some options for working one-on-one -on -one with someone to adjust and make sure that you are compliant and you're optimizing your campaigns uh, so that they are staying safe and your SMS privileges are, are in the green, in the fast lane to continue growing your business through automation strategies. I hope this video has been informative. Some of you might need to go back and watch it a second time, uh, but continue uh, to follow along with the latest updates that we provide and stay compliant, Pony Boy. Stay compliant. Thanks.